hey guys welcome to my channel um i wanted to get this video out because i've been trying to film it all day but i have not been able to um but now i'm sitting in my bathroom at 9 p.m at night so i really hope the audio is good please ignore my background and let's get right into it um i wanted to do an updated blowout routine not because i already have one uploaded but because I have tried all the methods to blow dry my hair um, and I don't have any uploaded. I'm still kind of new to YouTube, um, but I've tried the chase method. I've tried the blow dryer with the fork in it. I have tried the Revlon circle brush um, and it just, at least my hair feeling so dry and so brittle regardless of how much maintenance I do prior to blowing out my hair, how much maintenance I do after blowing out my hair and it's just, it started not being worth it. So I started heat stretching this year. Prior to that, I don't really use heat on my hair. Even professionally, I don't really let anyone touch my hair just because I have had so many bad experiences. Um, so I just do it all myself and I knew I wasn't really good at using those products, so I just never did. Until this year, I started exploring different styles to do on my hair and trying to grow my hair even longer. Um, and heat stretching, if you don't already know, is such a great way to maintain natural hair. I know a lot of naturals are against heat, using heat um, on your hair, but it prevents single strand knots. It prevents a lot of breakage if you're doing it right and it can be such a great asset um, to growing your hair. Of course, if you're doing it right, and I'm not recommending using it every single time you do your hair, um, but I just blow up my hair and then I try to leave it in a stretch style for maybe three weeks or to a month if I could stretch it that long and then repeat or, you know, give my hair like a month break or so and then do it again. But yeah, I think it has been beneficial aside from all the setbacks that I've had with the tools that I've been using. But let me not talk too much. Um, I'm going to get right into the video um, or into the process really soon. Um, but before I do start blow drying my hair, I do make sure that I go through my whole wash day routine. So pre-pooing, shampooing my hair in sections, um, uh, deep conditioning afterwards, and then um, detangling my hair and then the one of the new things I've added is letting my hair air dry by itself until it's like 90-95% dry and then I go ahead and use my updated routine so the as the game changer in this new routine is the actual tool that I use for my hair, which I'll show in the actual process. But I will tell you now what products that I use. And the first product is, of course, a heat protectant. Um, then I use the Chi 44 Iron Guard. I haven't used this before. This is the first time I usually use the Tresemme heat protectant. Um, but I guess I'll figure out if it worked for me <laughs> when I wet my hair and see what happens. And then the next thing that I use is the Garnier for Tease. Garnier, 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 I don't know how to say it, but Garnier for Tease Sleek and Shine. Um, it's supposed to be anti-frizz, but as you can see, it didn't do that for me. Um, the way my hair looked prior to, you know, prior to this, like as soon as I finished blow drying my hair, um, it was a little bit more sleek. Not sleek, but it was a bit more not as frazzled as it looked as it looks right now. Um, but I do like how it looks. It's very voluminous, so I'm not really complaining, but this did nothing for my hair is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then, so those are the two products that I use aside from lightly moisturizing my hair um, after washing it with the uh, cream of nature. I want to say it's the curl activating cream. And then 
um, letting it air dry. Then I went in with these products before blow drying my hair. So I will show you the game changer that I've been using or that I use for this method in the next clip. Hey guys, so I do want to apologize for any noise that you may hear, but here's my ha hair already sectioned off. And these are the products that I mentioned in the last clip. So I'm going to show you the game changer tool that I have been using and I've updated my routine to only use this electric straightening brush. So for my research, it's just steam that comes out of the brush and not direct heat from the tool. So the end of the tool is actually not too hot to touch, but obviously I wouldn't leave it on there because there is hot steam coming out of it. So I've tried this brush in conjunction with other um, blow drying tool and then going through with that brush, but I do find that that is too much heat on my hair and blow drying my hair with any other tool leaves my hair dry and brittle. But after using this tool, my hair feels so soft. Here, I'm just showing you how I worked through a knot. My hair is already detangled, but there was a knot at the root of my hair, so I just worked through it slowly. The clip is a little bit fast-forwarded, so it does look like I'm being um, rough in my hair, but I'm actually not. I'm going through the knot very slowly, and then as soon as I work through a little bit, I go through with my detangling brush, and this brush has been such a lifesaver for me. Like... Can you see how quickly it went through my hair and took out the knots? After I use that brush, making sure it can pass through my hair, I go in with the straightening brush. I use it on 350, but I think the max that the brush can go is 400. And I think 350 is enough for me to get the, um, to get the amount of straight or the amount of blown out look that I want without, you know, damaging my hair. So it's kind of hard to get my roots with this brush, but I just leave it on my ends for a few seconds, try not to pull the brush from my roots to the tip, just so I'm not ripping out hair, but I leave it on the roots. And then I just take the brush and gently glide it through my hair and I'm able to get the right amount of straight or blown out look that I'm going for. If you're looking for something silky straight, this brush is probably not for you, but for me, this is the look I'm going for, and then I'm able to leave my hair in this style for a long period of time. Here, I'm also trimming my hair because it's been, I think, two months or three months since I trimmed it last, and my ends were looking a bit scraggly. So here, I just showed you how I, um, how I trimmed my ends, and then... I'm just going to work through another section just to show you guys how I go through each section and I try to be very, very gentle and make sure my hair is detangled. So again, I'm not burning my, uh, my strands and I'm not ripping out strands as I detangle my hair or as I blow dry my hair. So as I mentioned, I leave it on the roots and then I just pass through it with the brush, making sure I'm being very, very gentle. My hair is like my sh my baby, so I go through my hair very slowly. It takes me so long because I'm making sure I'm preserving each strand of hair. To here, I'm just making sure it's the level of dry that I want it or the level of straight that I want it. And then I go in and I trim my ends again. There you go. Just cut that off. It's very important to trim your ends because even if you're protective styling or really taking care of your hair, if you're not trimming off the dead ends, then as some of you may already know, it's just going to travel up towards your hair strand and it's just going to cause more damage. So the more dryness you see, definitely cut it off at the roots. So I'm just going to do the rest of my hair off camera. I just wanted to show you how I do a few sections and then I repeat the methods uh, throughout the rest of my hair. I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how it looks. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, if you found it informative, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you at the end. So here's what my hair looked like the same day after I finished blow drying. And then here's what it looked like again the same day, but 
just later on in the day. Got super frizzy, but I still do like the result, and it was still really soft and really detangled, which is not something I was used to with the old methods that I've tried. But thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share, and then please let me know down below if you're going to try this method or if you found it useful. Bye!